won't have any snow in the near term either. So some break here for about a week and then we'll start to crank things up again. We'll get into details on that in a few minutes here, but for now it's quiet out there. Clear skies across the area and we are headed for a nice stretch of weather in the metro right now. 52 degrees winds are calm out there and for the most part the clear skies continue throughout the night tonight, which will lead to another cold night. For now, though, comfortable 30s and 40s to the north down to the south 30s, 40s and some 50s around Deming. We're at 52 degrees. Look at the temperatures now compared to 24 hours ago across the east side of the state from Raton down to Roswell. Significantly warmer metro area. We're three degrees warmer, six degrees warmer in the state capital, nine degrees warmer in Gallup and around Cortez, about seven degrees warmer there. Not much going on here with cloud cover. We have a big ridge building out to the west. We've had this thing really semi permanent ridge, which has been sitting to our west for the better part of the whole winter, and it's formed again, which is terrible news for California. And we will see quiet weather because of it here for the next three to four days at least. Now, the only thing that's going to get thrown into this mix to change things will happen on Saturday into Sunday. So tomorrow, look for a mild and dry day, but we are going to have a little weather disturbance, which is going to creep up from the south. That'll bring some more clouds across southern New Mexico and a couple of sprinkles will be a possibility. This is not a big time storm in any regard, but it could at least get a few things going across the south while the rest of us just continue to warm with mainly clear skies out there. But down to the south, you'll notice some of these clouds forming into the day on Saturday with scattered rain showers across the Gila as a possibility, which is actually good news because the Gila has missed out in a huge way on all these storms that have come through New Mexico. So if we can get something going there, anything, it would be helpful and then we'll wait and see how things shake out beyond that. It does look like about Thursday of next week. The pattern changes. We get a bit more wet and more cold air comes into the east side of the state. 44 in Pagosa Springs, 46 in Durango and 49 in Cortez. Sunshine and warmer looks good across the northwest. 55 in Grants, 49 in Dulce and 50 in Chinle across the southwest. Mostly sunny and breezy, but notice more cloud cover for Saturday. And if you go around Silver City, Glenwood and Camado, that'll be your best chance to get a few showers going over to the southeast. Mostly sunny skies for tomorrow, Saturday, Sunday and Monday, though more clouds around than you would expect. And that is because of that weather disturbance creeping up from the south. A little southerly moisture may well give you guys partly cloudy skies versus just complete sunshine, which we'll see across the northern portion of the state. That includes Las Vegas, Mora, Springer and up into Raton with temperatures in the 50s. Northern mountains. You know, I know this is nerdly, but if you look at Angel Fire's numbers and you look at the overnight low at 11 below and then you get to 44 degrees in the afternoon, that's a 55 degree temperature difference between your overnight low and daytime high. That's really hard to do. And again, in the high mountains of northern New Mexico, we tend to do it occasionally, and that's impressive. All right, we'll stop with the nerd talk. 51 Edgewood, 53 in Sandia Park, out into the metro area, mostly sunny skies and warmer, 60 downtown, 58 on the west side, and 60 in Berlin. And your seven day forecast here in the city, things pretty quiet. Low 60s on Saturday. Don't forget to knock that clock ahead an hour as we head into daylight savings time and warming temperatures continue. If you want to talk more on Twitter, we'd love to do that at KRQE Mark. All right, good stuff, Mark. Thank you.